the mythology that somehow the people of the world are starving because there's not enough food is very strong and has been drummed into us for 30 years now, 40 years. Uh, in fact, there's over one and a half times more food on the planet than we need for every man, woman, and child. Even Josette Sheehan of the World Food Program admitted at the height of the food crisis that the problem wasn't lack of food. There's plenty of food. People couldn't afford it. The system has done a very, very good job of educating people into the need for uh, GMO grains because we can't feed the world. It's just the opposite. Uh, I just finished the season in my community where we're running uh, uh, trials and, and putting in test plots for corn. Uh, we're doing better than the GMOs, hands down. I was at a conference of some of the experts who actually know how to feed the world. And we had Secretary Vilsack there speak to us. And when he started talking about how GMOs could feed the world, he was actually booed and hissed by these experts. The evidence that does not exist to support the, the claim that GMOs are going to be the way forward to, to feed the world um, in a way that's sustainable and equitable in the future. Genetically engineered organisms are really a product to sell people. And unless uh, there's a company trying to push a product like that and gain money, um, you know, there's no point in it because all of us can get along just fine without genetically engineered organisms. It's not about feeding the world. It's not about the blind will see and the lame shall walk. It's about chemical companies selling chemicals. The world can feed itself. The world has always fed itself. The world has enough food. That due to corruption, people may not be getting food, but there's plenty of food. Monsanto's whole drive to create GMOs is a disaster in front of us now. The world can get rid of it. The world should get rid of it. The sooner, the better now.